Hello, my name is Lenia Salas and my presentation will be about leadership and advocacy. Definition of leadership. What is a leader? A leader is the person in charge of a group of people that work together as a team to accomplish a goal. Although you may not find words that specifically describe leadership in the early learning standards, many states have statements related to leadership in their standards in the social-emotional section. Key phrases related to leadership are self-confidence, problem-solving, pro-social, and make independent decisions and choices. In order to do this, a leader might develop certain skills and values. Important values in a leader. There are some moral and ethical values required in a leader. Those are confidentiality, respect, honesty, self-awareness, open-minded. As a leader, a professional in early childhood education should have the ability to evaluate ethical and moral dilemma based on the professional code of ethics. A leader should have or develop the ability to identify how each staff member behave, understand, and process information in order to do to be able to communicate with them. Also, a leader should practice good communication skills and active listening, so he or she can establish a positive relationship with peers and staff members. Leadership styles. We studied in class five leadership styles. This is fear, autocratic, participative, transactional, and transformational. Although I as a leader we may use all of those leadership styles accordingly with each staff member and children personalities, I identify myself mostly as an, a participative leader. A participative leader values the ideas and concerns of, of the team members and peers and work with them, but the final decision is given by the participative leader. Now, Nurturing Leadership in Children Leadership and Children Leadership skills allow children to have control of their lives and give them the ability to make things happen. It infuses confidence in themselves, helps children to solve problems creatively, work in a team, and work collaboratively with others. Leadership gives children many opportunities to develop responsibility in their lives. How to nurture leadership in children? As a parent or as a teacher, we can nurture leadership in our children by modeling leadership behavior to children. Children learn from seeing what others do. Tell the child what you are doing and why you are doing it. Teaching children how to see things from another's point of view. Good communication is a key component to being an effective leader. Teach children how to listen carefully and how to respond to others in a calm and respectful way. Help children build self-confidence. Give children opportunity to do a good job and offer praise when appropriate. Give children the opportunity to take leadership roles in the classroom. Create leadership situation in the form of classroom jobs. Children can learn by becoming the classroom greeter or paper supply. Teachers should inform children of the responsibility of each classroom job and guide them as they take an on, on that leadership role. Children should have the opportunity to try various leadership jobs within the classroom. Teach children how to work with others in a team situation. Group project or sport activities are ways for children to work on a team. Assist children to develop a plan or strategy to address a problem or situation. Children as well as adults shy away from leadership tasks because they feel overwhelmed. Show children how to break tasks into work evolved ways to get the job done. Encourage children to pursue things that interest them. They may develop a passion for it and feel comfortable and later take on a leadership role. 
encourage communication and action. Leadership involves speaking up or taking action. You can encourage children leadership abilities by suggesting projects or identifying problems that may be important to them and helping them to come up with suggestions for actions and possible solutions. Encourage parents to look for leadership opportunities for children. Leadership opportunities can be in your child care program or another program at school, church, community, or club. Children can also take leadership role in a family event. Find way to create problem solving situation. Children can learn how to solve their own problems. Allow children to start making small decisions such as which activity they want to participate in and they give them more opportunities to make decisions as they learn to the concept of responsibility and consequences of making a decision. Now the topic of advocacy. Advocating for the right of education for children raised by same-sex parents. While doing my researches on this topic, I found more questions than answers. The internet is mostly full with the debates against or in favor of sense and couple raising children. Neither any of the NIEYC documents and standards refer to the education of children raised by the sense experience. One of my questions is, is children normal development and abilities to learn af affected by their parents' sexual orientation? The debate over gay marriage addressed by the U.S. Supreme Court, but by no man, Saro frequently turns to concern about the emotional well-being of children raised by same-sex parents. But science tells us the fear are overblown. More recently, researchers for the University of Colorado Denver and the University of Oregon used the tool Web of Science to examine the ways in which scientific papers analyze children of same-sex parents over time, and how each paper cited others to back its analysis. They found that over time, more and more papers cited other research that highlighted that there is no differences in the outcomes for children based solely on whether they were raised by same-sex, heterosexual, or single parents. I found overwhelming evidence that scientists agree that there is not a negative impact to children of same-sex couples, says Jimmy Adams a sociologist at the University of Colorado at Denver and co-author of the paper. Can schools and daycare centers decline a child raised by same-sex parents? There is not substantiated reasons why children raised by same-sex parents be denied admission to school or daycare centers. Now, homosexuality is a term that still generates a lot of debates in our modern times. For some people, it is still seen as a taboo in our society. The choice of denying or not education to a child raised by the same-sex parents is more based in the institution policy, religious policy, than the scientific facts. Principals, teachers, and staff members at school should learn how to approach this change in a professional way, accordingly with the code of ethics conduct and statements of commitment, core values, respect diversity in children, families, and colleges, recognize that children and adults achieve their full potential in the context of relationships that are based on trust and respect. Another question is, are children raised by the census parents predestinated to have gender identity issues, behavioral issues, or academic problems? 
Most researchers included that children raised by the same sex parents did not differ from children raised by heterosexual parents in the term of emotional functioning, behavioral adjustment, gender identity, development learning capacities, and grade points averages. According to those researchers, children's normal development and ability to learn is not affected by the parent's sexual orientation. Here are some citations where I found all this information. And here is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.